Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare 2. Today is super exciting because there is finally a brand new variant available in the game to play. It is the Twilight Chomper. We talked about it a little bit in the previous episode, but the Twilight Chomper awaits. Thank you for con your, your continued dedication to the Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare franchise. So basically we're getting this right now because we already have the Unicorn Chomper, but don't fret if you don't have the Unicorn Chomper, there are still two other ways to get the Twilight Chomper. One is to participate in this week's community Community challenge, which if you get 400 vanquishes in it and the community gets 6 million vanquishes in total, we will get, everybody will get within that the Twilight Chomper, which is super cool. Beyond that, there will also be a Twilight Chomper pack you can purchase a little bit later in February. But for right now, we're good to go. We're good to showcase this thing. So we're gonna go ahead and open up our gift just like that, opening the sticker shop. And as you can see right here, we got the Twilight Chomper pack. I'm so excited for it. And here we go, ooh, 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 a new legendary character, the Twilight Warp as well, which I guess is this Twilight Chomper's like its specific ability. Obviously you can tell it's sort of a mix up of the Unicorn Chomper with the horn and everything, so it has like a different palette to it and everything. So that is super duper cool. It says it's special, but before it said it was rare or, or legendary. So I don't really know which one it technically is. I guess technically it's a special. Anyways, yeah, look at this. We can still give it uh, customizations and stuff. I'm gonna keep it as it is. It looks super duper cool. I love this color scheme. And the abilities is what I'm mostly curious about. Can we change it to, I guess we can't. I was gonna change it so that it is the Unicorn Chomper's warp to see if that would work, but it doesn't. So we only have the Twilight Warp. Instantly join the fray with his shadowy long distance warp. And then if we move back over here, let's see his description. Twilight Chomper's warp puts him straight into the fight. Very cool. So that's sort of very interesting. As far as some of you have been letting me know, the Twilight Chomper's Warp is the same distance as both of the Unicorn chom Chomper's warps put together. So he only has one of them, as you can see, but it goes super duper far. So that'll be very interesting to use. With that being said, we're gonna be heading back into the super mix mode that we checked out last episode, which of course is Walnut Hills. I'm super excited to give it a look and try it as Unicorn, I the Twilight Chomper, that's what I meant. Definitely excited to give it a try as Twilight Chomper. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here we go. How exciting is this? Playing as a brand new Garden Warfare 2 variant in 2019 and also playing the brand new ported over from Garden Warfare 1, Walnut Hills map in Garden Warfare 2. Like how crazy is that combo of things going on right now? Never would have guessed, it's super duper awesome. So like I said before, that super long warp is hopefully gonna help us initiate in the fights we wouldn't normally be able to. The only downside of course is the big noise it makes. Everybody knows that noise is a unicorn chomper, but now they have to also worry about a twilight chomper being somewhere around and they might end up turning around. But the whole idea of course is to sort of warp behind people and try to grab them real quick. I'm not really a good chomper player, I never really have been, so I'm probably not gonna play too, too well today. But that's not the point, the point is to have fun, so be sure to let me know what are your thoughts on the Twilight Chomper. Do you have him yet? Are you working to get him through the community challenge? I would love to hear all about it, but yeah, I'm having a ton of fun right now. It's really cool. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and get you. And hopefully this is a first of many. There we go, there's our first of many. Hopefully vanquishes as the Twilight Chomper at the least. Let's go ahead and get rid of this guy too. Ready, you are mine. Yeah, I got him before I'm gonna get vanquished by this dude. Or will he even get me? He will. But that's fine. Super duper awesome. I am so glad about that. We got two vanquishes already. Oh, actually, technically three somehow. All right, I'll take it. But yeah, hopefully this isn't the only new variant we get in Garden Warfare 2 this year. Maybe there'll be more. I mean, we can only hope, right? Because obviously it seems like this chomper, like the, the idea is pretty simple. All, all they seem to be doing, I think the health is the same. Like I think as far as I can tell, everything is the same as a unicorn chomper, except for the fact that it has the double length warp and it has a different color palette style to it. I wonder what they could do with that with other variants. Cause so far this, I mean, this is pretty cool. A new variant is a new variant and it's always exciting to see. I wonder if they could maybe think of some other ideas like that. Cause that's sort of what the party characters are. You know, the party characters are, oh boy. Uh, Palette swapped versions of normal Garden Warfare 2 variants and also have a legendary meter. Could they be doing that with other variants as well? And maybe we could get some more varietous variants. That'd be pretty cool. There we go. Oh, I almost got it. Never mind. I was gonna say there we go, but oh well. That's fine. I don't expect to win this round or too many of the rounds that we go to with the uh, Twilight Chomper, but I'll do what I can. We got a lot of chompers hanging chompers hanging out, which is pretty cool. And like I said before, if you don't have the Twilight Chomper yet, don't worry, there's two other ways you can get them, either doing the community challenge or buying the pack that releases at the end of February. So hopefully you can do one of those two and end up getting him. I'll be definitely purchasing that pack, even if I already have the Twilight Chomper to let you know if it's worth the money. 
but uh, that'll happen later in February. Oh gosh, I didn't even see him. But yeah, I talked all about the Walnut Hills map in the last episode, it was a ton of fun. I also talked about the fact that they confirmed a new PVZ game coming out in 2019. We don't know too much more than that, but it's coming out this year, so that's gonna be really exciting. There's just a lot of new PVZ news in general, and that's just a fun, fun thing. Okay, I'm going down a little too far here. I'm going immediately to the right where there's lots of zombies waiting for me. I need to wait for them to make the wrong move first and then I capitalize on it. That's what, oh no. There we go, go back in there. <laughs> Didn't mean to press the change variance button. But yeah, one little bit of news I have yet to talk about is that Taco Bandits, or whatever it's called, a Capture the Taco here in Garden Warfare 2, is coming back. It is gonna be a tad bit different. I don't know, that wasn't very useful. Come on, get him, get him, ah, man. I told you I was bad at Chopper, I warned you. I definitely warned you. <laughs> but um, Taco Bandits is coming back and is gonna be available on more maps and I think it's getting a couple more tweaks beyond that. So what I'm trying to say is that the next couple of weeks should be filled to the brim with Garden War for goodness and I'm excited for it. So let's move up this way. Three minutes remaining. Uh, Let's try to make sure that we keep defending. Maybe we can even get a win here. I don't know if we will or not. It looks like they're about to capture this point. Oh boy, ah, they got me. That's fine. Uh, but yeah, looks like they got that point. They got plenty more points to get through before we lose. This is a point that's usually not too bad for the zombies to get through. The point after is where we could probably defend a lot because it just has a lot of like different fences and stuff protecting it. I do see it. It's a scientist over that way. Might be able to do something about that. Oh, that's a lot of zombies. Hey, 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 stop it. Well, I don't like this. I'm gonna go over here. That was probably a mistake as well. They can all see me. I'm not very hidden. Hey, no! <laughs> it is definitely tough playing a chomper that cannot burrow. I mean, you can change it so that he can burrow, but I feel like that's not the point. You might as well play the base chomper at that point, you know? Because I think that this Twilight Warp, just like how the Unicorn Chomper's Warp is exclusive to him, this Twilight Warp is exclusive to the Twilight Chomper. And it's just cool to sort of have the opposite of the Unicorn Chomper in a while. Like, he's very bright and rainbowy, while uh, the Pipe Chomper's a little bit more dark and mysterious. And I don't know what's going on. I got a Vanquish that we're level two! It's fun playing a character starting from level one again, right? Man, he warps so far, the camera sort of has a hard time keeping up with it for a second. Isn't that wild? Okay, so let's wait around over this way. Oh no, hey, man, they can see me from a mile away though, I can tell you that much. It's like the second I pop my chomper head out of there, it just gets beat up a little bit. Okay, get him, nah, not quite, oh well. <laughs> if we can get a couple level ups as chomper though, that's awesome. Apparently though, as far as I understand, the level ups don't add to the rank play, which is a huge shame. That sort of bums me out a little bit. I don't know why that is. Maybe they just couldn't code it in. Because I know that the Guard of War team, as far as I understand, is a little bit smaller now than it used to be. So maybe they just, they did what they could. And I, I do appreciate that. It's like we're at 4586. We should double check that when we get to level three. Do we get the 4587? I'll try to remember to find out. Uh, boom. Okay, got him. And nice. That was pretty good. Not many people have noticed me either, so we could probably go in and get another vanquish here soon enough. If I can find any zombies to beat up, that is. I can goof something. I goofed this guy. Oh, I got him. Not quite level up just yet, though. Okay, so. Everybody's hanging out. This is this point is usually a lot more workable, as far as I remember. And that's definitely how it was last episode. Where'd that guy go? Did I go right past him? Oh, I did go right past him. I'm warping so far, I can't even keep up with it. And I'm doing the warping. Got it. Keep running, keep running, keep running. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, nothing but more zombies to run into. Sometimes it's sort of just how I play Chomper. I go in, I get one Vanquish, I get Vanquished, and then rinse and repeat over and over and over again. Until you either win or lose. That's not what I wanted to do. Oh, let's get you. Come on. Yeah, I got the Vanquish in there. Sort of stole it from the other guys, which I sort of feel bad about, but I just need to make progress. So there we go, more progress made. Goop this dude, come on, get him. Before he gets me, no, he got me. It definitely is hard to fight that urge to burrow underground because I don't have that availability anymore. That's a bit odd, but we'll get there. This guy just looks so cool though. I do like the style of him. He's a lot of fun. So what else do we got going on around here? I do see a couple of zombies near our point and I don't like that one bit, so I'm gonna try to goop you up. Oh, did you get stuck in my spike weed? No, I don't think so because of the jackhammer. There we go, we got the vanquish anyways. We're down to 23 health, I need to skedaddle. 
Uh, no seven flowers are healing me, unfortunately. Oh, did I get that goop? No, I missed it. <laughs> I'm not really doing too much all too well here. Got him, okay, good, good, good. Get this dude, because he's not paying attention. No, he's paying attention. Darn. I feel like I'm climbing up in Vanquish. Just like I said, for not being very good at Chomper, definitely not so bad. Almost at level three, we're about to find out if it'll go up to uh, 87. I don't think it will, because I'm pretty sure that's something I read um, on the update on the website. Come on, get one of these dudes, get him. There it is, level three, I know I'm gonna get vanquished. Oh no, it does go up 87. Huh. Maybe it still doesn't affect max rank, so like if I were to get the 54, 55, which is the max rank, it wouldn't go up anymore, even if I had some characters to level up. That might be what it is. Very odd, for sure. Because you would think that no matter what, if you get a level up, you get a rank. Or maybe it's just that there's no new rank plate. But if that's the case, you'd think that some of these people would be higher than 54, 55. I'm not really sure, though. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see, I guess. <laughs> Still a while away from max rank. But I'll try to get there one day. I'll try it at least. Not too many people going around here. Oh, <laughs> maybe I spoke too soon. Where are you going? You get back here. You can't get away from, okay. Well, let's let the pea shooter do it. <laughs> he seems to want to get it done. This area's always been a little bit more peaceful. Not too many zombies or plants flying around here. You can just sit down and take a nap. <laughs> I don't want to do any fighting. I just want to relax in this nice, nice map. Oh, here we go. I can definitely get somebody, right? Oh my gosh, if I didn't mess it up. But of course I want to mess it up. Oh no. Let's see how long I can distract them for at the least. <laughs> Can't get any vanquishes, but at least I can deter them from the point. That's something. Yeah, I'm glad our rank went up a little bit. That's always something. Getting close to promotion 46, so that's nice. It's something. But yeah, it is interesting how many chompers we have in the game now. If you include the base chomper, there are now 12 chomper variants, more than any other class in the game. By far, I think that the, the closest, like the scientist with like eight or nine, it's crazy how many chompers there are. And it was like that in Garden War for one as well. I think the the character with the class with the most variants was Chomper in Garden War for one, but it's getting ridiculous now in Garden War for two. He has two special characters. He has a legendary. It's just insane, crazy insane. I mean, I love Chomper, so that's that's great for him and everything. But I do sort of wish also. Oh no, I'm out of bounds. <laughs> oh, I can maybe get like a sneaky wrap around there or something. Not quite happening. All right, whoop. Where'd he go, where'd he go, where'd he go? Oh, no, you get out of here, you stinker. Get him. He's mine, awesome. Darn it. I would like to say if we can't see, uh, let's see if we can't get the level five with the uh, Twilight Chomper by the end of today's episode. Don't know if it's gonna happen. We'll try to find out. Oh, they're gonna be moving over to the pool, then let me set up some defensive plant pots right away. I, mean, I don't know really where all the plant pot spots are. <laughs> Gotta sort of relearn that. I only saw one so far. Isn't that weird? Where are the rest of them? Okay, there's one over this way. We'll just do normal pea shooter. Another normal pea shooter over this way. And boom! Oh, I missed it. Darn it. Come on. <laughs> but yeah, definitely I feel like it would be cool. Like, even if you did something like. If you wanted to keep it simple and just keep it as repelling the current variants and just adding some slight differences to them, I'm trying to think of what you could do. Uh, just sort of really quickly. I think for like zombie side, you could definitely like repel it maybe the tennis star and make him the badminton star. You'd be able to keep the tennis racket around his neck because tennis rackets and badminton rackets look similar enough that maybe people want to question it too much. You know, that kind of stuff. I feel like it would be pretty fun to do. Get over this way and Oh, couldn't quite get him, that's fine. Got a submarine guy, submarine, bi or what's it called? Marine biologist. <laughs> Tried to get him, didn't quite work. Now right, let's respawn. Hmm. And that's another one. I'm thinking about it now, sort of poked up in my head. You know, we have toxic brains. Why not have lava brains? Turn all that green into red. It makes it look like his his tube is full of lava. He's made out of lava instead of toxicness, you know? I feel like that would make for a very easy and fun palette swap variant. You know, if there's just like simple ideas you want to work out with that. I mean, I know I said last episode, how cool would it be if every other month we got another Garden War for one map? What if every time we got an update, we got one new variant and one new map until a new PPZ game comes out, whatever that'll be. Uh, that'd be really cool. I mean, there's just like a lot of cool ideas. Hopefully they go for some of them. Anyways, making our way up this way. 
What do we got going on? Uh, don't the zombies get in the mansion? I'll try my best. Get this all star or not. Uh, I'm gonna put some of this stuff down. Oh boy. Ah, oh, darn it. Oh well, it's fine. Don't think we're gonna win. Some of those zombie players are doing really well. But you know, I just wanted to enjoy some time with the Twilight Chomper. It's really fun to play him. Of course, be sure to play a lot of God of War Warfare 2 this weekend. Don't know when this is gonna be uploaded, but you know, you don't wanna miss out on the, the fun action, right? Oh gosh. Especially if you can earn up a Twilight Chomper yourself, because no matter what, it's gonna be a pretty limited time variant. Come on, get it, get it, get it. Oh boy. Ah, oh, didn't work. The darn walnut got me or something. It had to be the walnut. I guess walnuts can take out plants and zombies. Yeah, we'll do what we can to defend this area, try to make sure the zombies don't win on this final point, but it is usually pretty easy for the zombies to win. That is for sure. Oh, buddy, get out of here. Come on. And got him, there we go. Can we get to at least level five? That would be awesome. Okie doke. I'm gonna wait here for a second, see if we can't sneak up on anything. Put that there, then put like another one around this corner. Oh, get thoroughly sneaked up on. Oh wait, get you, get you, get you. Come on, come on, come on. I don't know what was with the delay there. But we got him. And what are you doing to our precious coconut cannon? Oh, that got him, very good. Hey, leave me alone. Ah, couldn't get away, that sinks. I'm actually pretty happy with their performance though. Through and through, you know, as somebody who is awful at the chomper, this is pretty cool. I feel like he's, you know, hard to spot, you know? I mean, at least like when you look at him, I wouldn't immediately think, it's gonna take me a while to go, oh, that's a Twilight Chomper, I gotta be careful. I'm gonna think of it and go like, I don't know what Chomper that is, you know? <laughs> that's gonna be a little weird to get used to because it's been since December? Yeah, it's been since December of 2016, since we've last had a new variant. So it's been more than two years. Isn't that crazy? More than two years since our last new variant. I'm so glad that there's one back here in action, you know? And hopefully it's only the first of more, you know? I can only hope. But there we go, we got around down in Walnut Hills with the Twilight Chomper, that is a lot of fun. And I don't really have too much more to say about him, but maybe we'll go for more, one more round, see how that goes. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> the, the lone engineer jumping around. I think we, did we win? Did the zombies win? The zombies won, yeah, okay. Well, good job. Better luck next time for the plants. All right, so let's get another round going here as the Twilight Chomper. No matter how long this round lasts, it'll probably be the last round of the day. But I don't think that's all that bad. Defend the backyard, I'll do what I can. All right, uh, I see a zombie over this way. Quite a few of them, actually. Gonna try to go for that sneaky start. Really try to get that level five. That's my goal, I'm keeping to it. I did see an astronaut, but I think some other plants will hopefully be able to defend against him. Oh my. Let's go ahead and warp over like this, actually. Where'd you go, where'd you go, where'd you go? You're right here. Oh, I missed. Hold on, get him. Get him, no wait. I got him. Yeah, there we go, player vanquish. Super duper cool. Gotta be careful though, they are still everywhere. Attacking from all sides. I miss my goop, but I won't miss you. Yep, there we go, right on the marker. No missing happening here. Awesome. <laughs> we got two vanquishes, decent way to start it. The teams are much smaller now. It looks like some people actually left, which is a shame, but that's okay. I mean, sometimes a small round like this is fine. I wonder if they fixed any of the problems with this map, though, because I know this one, out of all the Gordon War for One maps, had the mo the biggest issue with uh, people using the Cactus Drone glitch, where you can hop on top of it, and then you could ride out of bounds of the map and be able to snipe the zombies super easy. I mean, I haven't seen anybody do it, so I'm guessing it doesn't work as well in Gordon War for One or Gordon War for Two. Anyways, let's go ahead and get you a little bit. There we go, there's a player vanquish. Oh, this guy's trying to get me, so I can't revive my pea shooter friend just yet. Oh, thank you for the help. Ah, oh, it's too late for that pea shooter. Oh, well, I tried. They're definitely not making their way to the point very easily. Not yet, at the least. Maybe if more people join. All right, get the astronaut. I missed him. Eh, it was too late anyways. Almost had my warp again, but if I can hold on to it until I really, really need it, that'd be great. Okay, get this dude. Come on, our 35 damage ch chomp is pretty good. Go ahead and get you. Oh, you're going down. Oh, nope, I got taken out. Who took me out? It was an engineer, yikes. Level four though, not bad. Let's keep moving. So, so far so good when it comes to defending this. They haven't even nudged a point. I mean, we have four and a half minutes left to defend though. So we'll have to see how that ends up going. 
Hmm. Also, I want to get back to that conversation. I was having a lot of fun thinking of those kind of things. The palette swappable uh, variants. So, like, the idea is, I'm sure that it must be much more difficult to create a variant that does have custom uh, art to it. And that's why the Twilight Chamber was probably so easy for them to make, or at least easier than a full-on new variant, is because there isn't really anything new to the the what's it called the Unicorn Chompers model. It's just that the colors, the textures are changed. So keeping that sort of creative restraint in mind is actually pretty fun to think about. Like I said, I think my, my favorite one I've thought of so far is going to be that Lava Super Brains, being able to make the uh, the toxic, not that, wait, yeah, the toxic Super Brains, make that toxicity red, it sort of looks like lava. Then you could have a Lava Super Brains, and that could be our finally our fire damage Super Brains we've wanted for so long. Uh, thinking about some other ones, I mean, hard to exactly say. I mean, I would love to see, I mean, I guess we sort of already have that in the, I was gonna say maybe something like a Colonel Corn in the rugby star style where it has like explosive shots, but we sort of kind of have that with the legendary Commando Corn. It's sort of the same thing. I feel like a Sniper Corn would be pretty fun though. Don't know what kind of art you'd have. I mean, I guess you could just put them in some camo, just like the Camo Cactus. That'd just be a pretty simple texturing. Don't know if that exactly worked though. Hmm. Lots of fun ideas you could think of. Even if it was just, like, I feel like a lot of people would be just happy if they were able to do elemental variants for all of them. You know, like there, and, and to explain that, like there's a fire sunflower, but there's not a fire super brains. There's a toxic super brains, but there's not a toxic sunflower. Some of them do have all four of the variants. Like an example is pea shooter. There is a fire, electric, toxic, and freezing pea shooter. So it'd be cool if you could have all four variants for, or all, all four elemental type variants for each class, because that currently isn't the case. I would hope that maybe that's something they do at some point because you know then it's just sort of balancing it out to make sure it's not too powerful. I think that'd be a lot of fun. So hopefully that's something they do at some point. Because who are we missing? We don't have a toxic all-star. A lot of people think we do because we do have that one all-star that has like stinky damage with his like, yeah, he shoots out the stinky boots. But they're not actually, they don't do poison damage. And same thing with Soldier. A lot of people think there's a poison Soldier, but arguably no, that would make the Alien Flower a poison if the Camp Ranger is, which neither of them are. They both make like clouds of smoke that if you're in that smoke will do extra damage, but that's not the same as poison damage, you know? Um, and stuff like that. Uh, it would be cool to see an Ice, well, wh which one doesn't have an Ice variant? Ice Kernel Corn would be really cool. I would love that. They definitely would have to tweak it because I feel like I only see you know mess with it a little bit and see because I, I could definitely see it being super overpowered if you know the ice chance or the freezing chance is too high or maybe lower his damage a little bit. Anyways, almost there, almost there. Come on, can I get him? Not quite. We're at eight vanquishes so far. What is our level though? That's my big question right now. What is our level? Are we level four yet? Yeah, we are level four. Almost at level five. So will we be able to defend this in time? Gotta focus a little bit more on that. They're all going through this teleporter and going around this way. And I actually don't know how well much that's gonna actually work for them. I'm gonna eat you, you just got respawned. No, he got me! Darn it, that stinks. So they might actually get this if we're not careful. This is where we gotta really fight for it. I mean, nobody's on the point right now, but that could change at any moment. One minute left though, can we just hold on for one minute? I would sure hope so. I'm gonna sneak around the left and see if I can't just eliminate anybody who's on the point, which right now there were two people on the point. That's a big no-no, we need to get that stopped as soon as possible. So let's go ahead and put our spike weeds around here as much as I can. And goop you. Oh, I got you gooped. I got you gooped. Who got you gooped? I got you gooped. Whoa, come on lag. Now's not a good time. Darn it, come on. <laughs> I can get you though. There it is. Didn't take any damage or very minimal damage at the least. Oh, I gooped him as well. I'm warping over a little too late. Okay, go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Stop that engineer. Okay, somebody stopped him. Good stuff. He's gooped. I don't even need to go get him. I just need to slow him down for another 28 seconds. Oh my, it's a little scary. Uh, oh, that got him a little bit, but not quite enough. Okay, so, uh, oh, okay, there's, there's only one person on the point. Now, now there's one to two, one to three. We gotta fight them from being in overtime. I messed up my warp, that's not gonna help. Will we get it, will we win? Oh, come on, come on. We gotta stop him. We gotta stop him. Overtime. We gotta put an end to it. I wanna win right here. Okay, there it is. 
And yeah, we won. Awesome, four more rainbow stars for us, so I should be able to open, I think, a pack or a chest or something. I think I should have 15 in total. Let's hope, but for right now, the plants win. So one loss and one win as a Twilight Chomper was a lot of fun for sure. But with that being said, we are all finished up here. I don't think we got any of the accolades, but we might as well check. Is it the case? Nope, all right then, better luck next time. All right, so there was our super fun look at the Twilight Chomper. Unfortunately, I don't quite have, oh yeah, this is 30, not 15. So yeah, got that mixed up a little bit, whoopsies. <laughs> so yeah, there was a look at the Twilight Chomper. Be sure to let me know your thoughts on this guy, and if you haven't already, be sure to hop on to Garden Warfare 2 and participate in this community challenge before it is too late. You need a whopping 400 Vanquishes, and the community needs an amazing 6 million Vanquishes to get the Twilight Chomper, and I think we are well on track of doing it. It has only been about 24 hours into the challenge so far. There is five days and a couple of hours remaining, and we are two thirds of the way there, so I think this weekend they'll definitely get it, which makes me super duper proud of them. They're doing a great job. Good job to everybody who's been vanquishing online. But with that being said, that's gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Plans vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment Twilight Chomper so I know you've watched at the end of the URA Zebra Tastic Viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing and join the Zebra Herd. Out of the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.